hello everybody long time no see welcome back to another video please if you like this video take the time to like it and subscribe if you haven't already also comment and share if you dare If you've clicked on this video, you know that one, it isn't going to be a long one, and two, it's a sad story. So let's just jump right into it. While making coffee this morning, I received a notification on my phone. In that notification, it read, three-year-old drowns in reality star quad webs pool and i immediately felt overwhelming amounts of grief not only because i have a child that age but also because quad just lost her brother last year and now this sweet baby in quad's own backyard of her brand new home now i debated with myself on whether or not i wanted to do a video on this matter simply because i didn't want to be one of those people who piggybacks off of someone else's grief but i'd rather do it because i don't want anyone else giving y'all info on our beloved show and cash just for the sake of the story i however have invested quite a bit of time into these ladies and have grown to somewhat care so any news that comes out about them best believe i'm filtering through it all and fact checking to ensure i give y'all the tea but also not defaming or belittling the cast in any way. Ariana Rice is who this story is about. Although it's never been clarified or explained, but I believe Ariana is the niece of Quad. This is based off of my own research, of course, so I'll give you my reasons as to why I believe that. One is because one of the reports has Ariana's last name as Webb, which we all know is Quad's maiden name. Two, she's posted the child on her social media before, indicating a close relationship. The caption read, You absolutely stole my heart from the moment I saw you. Ari, you're so special to me and I'm grateful to be a part of your life. I got you forever. And three, the police report said that they interviewed Ariana's grandmother, Mary Louise Cox, and she told police the last time she saw Ariana was with her daughter, Quadria. So if my math serves me correctly, Mary is Quad's mom and Ariana's grandmother making Quad her aunt. But moving on, the police report goes on to state that Cobb County police responded to reports of a drowning on Sherwood Lane in Marietta on July 7th. This, of course, as we know, is Quad's address. Police said they were informed that a young female was found unresponsive in the backyard swimming pool. By the time the police arrived, the firefighters were already providing the child with medical aid. She was then transported to Scottish Rite Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Police were able to speak to two men back at the residence who stated that they were in the pool for around two hours from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., after which they decided to head in for a pizza. They were inside for a while when they decided to come back down and that's when they noticed what they thought was a doll in the pool only to come to the grim realization that it was in fact a real child. The men then said they rushed to pull the baby out and call 911 immediately. The report ultimately listed the drowning as a tragic accident, and I'm sure there will be more information about this that will come out, and maybe it won't, but I have so many questions about this story. Like for starters, who were the men? I'm assuming they were friends of Quad or something, but why are so many people moving around and living freely in her house when she's not around? with an unsupervised child at that. The police report did list Ariana's place of residence as Quad's address, so she lived with her. Where was everybody? Are we also to assume that these men didn't even know there was a child there, if their first assumption when looking outside was that a doll was in the pool? And Quad's mom, who we know stays with Quad based off the of past episodes, but she said the last time she saw the little girl was with Quad. Now I would never just start blaming people for anything like this because this is anyone's worst nightmare. And I just hate that this happened. Irregardless as to who we believe was at fault or not, it is an accident and won't bring her back. Plus I'm pretty sure they had cameras and surveillance to corroborate their stories. To be honest, it could have happened to any of us. When we first bought our home, we had thoughts of getting a pool, but just so happened around that time, a story about a football player losing his baby to drowning in their pool came out and that was all we needed to see. Truth is, you can go through all the precautions, but all it'll take is one off day you're having to change everything. So I urge you all that if you have pools and children to stay on high alert, make sure the pools are locked up and even pool motion detectors that notify you when commotions in the water. It's the least you can do in exchange for preserving lives. No doubt in my mind that this will haunt all of them for a very long time and my deepest condolences goes to their family. I pray for God's love and comfort during this time. Our hearts go out to you all. 
but yeah that was on july 7th so that was some weeks ago either everyone in their circle was tight-lipped until someone released the story or they were waiting for medical purposes to release the story i even noticed quad's absence from social media she constantly is posting her styles and fashion and vacations but her last post was july 4th three days later is when all this happened and now it all makes sense now filming is more than likely already complete so we won't see this on the show and a part of me is glad because they deserve all their privacy to grieve properly Whew, but yeah that's pretty much the base for the news i know a lot of people don't like quad but i do and i said before i believe she's good for the show we can always count on the dramatics fashion confidence and tea from miss quad and i was a little concerned with how this upcoming season would go why with all the new changes no more contessa or anila for one moment people were saying quad wasn't even coming back but she is then you have phaedra coming on the show who is not married to medicine but is dating medicine and dr greg and his new wife which is kind of crazy because did y'all know Phaedra and Greg used to date back in the day before he got with Quad? And while Quad and Greg were still married, Quad befriended Phaedra and they've been friends ever since. Yeah, that was in a previous season. So technically this won't be Phaedra's first appearance on the show. Anyways, and lastly, Dr. Alicia Gollum, who has been seen in multiple pictures and videos with the cast on their social media is the last person who I believe will be joining the cast. But overall, I do feel confident in the lineup and the new changes, and I look forward to it all. Ultimately, I'm excited and anxious, but I'd love to hear what y'all think. That does conclude my video. I want to know what you all think about this story. Comment down below and like this video. Also, if you believe, please take this time to say a prayer for the family of Miss Quad and send positive vibes and love her way. Until next time, guys. Bye.